Hello everyone, I'll be talking about how to add sources to Sky Portal. More specifically, I'll talk about four different things and go through the process step by step. I'll talk about how to add the source to Sky Portal, how to add classifications such as tags on Sky Portal like I care, not I care, go grandma, stop grandma, depending on the event. I'll talk about how to add social comments and what type of social comments should be added. And then lastly, I'll talk about how to add photometry to ZTF candidates from different resources such as TNS. So I'll be sharing my screen and going through the process. For example, for this gravitational wave event, S230627, there was a GCN circular released by ZTF that shows four different sources. To show how to add these sources on Sky Portal, I'll be using this specific source. Now, this GCN already shows a lot of different information about the source, including the right ascension, declination, etc. However, this can also be added from something like TNS which also included the same information about that same exact source. So to add the source, I'll be going to the main homepage of Sky Portal or iCare, scrolling down and going to add a source. Share the data with grandma and then copy the object ID, which is given by ZTF. The right ascension and the declination are given here in the same GCN. So I'll copy this, paste it here. Same thing for the declination, copy it and paste and then submit. And I'll find my source up here. I can click. As this is an example, the source already has some work done to it. For example, some classification added or some social comments added, but now I'll show how to do these step by step. After you've successfully added the source to Sky Portal and accessed it through sources, you can now open all the information about that source. Step two is classifying the source. Classification includes go grandma, stop grandma, I care, not I care, etc. And this is extremely important as it shows everyone in grandma what exactly is happening with that source, as well as shows what telescopes teams should be doing with that source, whether you should observe or stop observation. To add a classification, all you need to do is scroll down to classifications. This is already classified as stop grandma and I care. However, I'll show how to add a new classification. You go under add classifications, choose the group as grandma, and then choose the taxonomy as grandma campaign source observation 1.0. The classification can be go grandma, for example, and then a probability is one to show that it is go grandma. And then you submit. Classification is saved and now you can see your name and that you've added that go grandma. Another type of classification is to, again, choose grandma as the group to share with. Taxonomy as 1.2, and now you can classify it as I care or not I care. It's the same process. You click on I care, put a probability of one, and then submit. Similarly, if you are on the home page of Sky Portal and you want to add or remove a tag to any of the events, for example, this latest event, you can simply click on the plus button and then write down the tag. So for example, I care and save it. And then you will just need to reload Sky Portal. And then you will see it here, I care. To remove the tag, you simply hover over it. You don't click, just stand over it with your cursor, hover over it with the cursor, go down to this bin and click on it, delete tag, confirm. Again, reload the page and now it's gone. It's the same thing for all the other tags. I can just hover over them and delete any of the tags. Now, going back to the source page, I'm showing is how to add social comments. Social comments, again, are very important. They show exact details of what has been happening with this event, whether uh, different telescopes have observed, whether the GCNs have been updated for that event, whether photometry has been added, etc. So to add a social comment, all you need to do is scroll down to comments. You go to add a comment. You can see here all the other comments that people have added. You go to add a comment. For example, if you have just added photometry uh, from TNS to this event and you want to report that in Sky Portal, then all you're gonna write is photometry added from TNS or um, just to give an example, G, ZTF filter, 
And then you go to TNS. This is where you would have added that photometry for the GZTF filter from. And then you copy that URL and then you paste that. And then add the comment. Now my comment will be added. Now these comments are extremely important and they're used to report everything that has been happening with that source. So to go through some of the comments here, for example, as this is a very good example of where the comments are important. So you can see a report from the GCN circular about the photometric redshift, more information about the source. This is information about uh, which teams have been able to observe or not observe. So it says KAO team will not be able to observe the candidates. Another uh, important piece of information that it was too faint for Fram and will not observe the candidate. And then lastly, someone saying that the candidate is no longer considered as a credible transient candidate as ETF claimed a flat evolution. So someone who has just opened that source can go through the comments, see exactly what happened, see which telescopes were able to observe, which ones were not able to observe and why. For example, it was too faint or they couldn't observe it because of the weather. And then lastly, a very important update here that it is no longer considered as a, as a credible transient candidate. So that if someone is still interested in that source, they can see that as grandma, it has been regarded as not interesting or not credible anymore. As you go through sources on iCare, you will see all the different gravitational wave source candidates and events. You can access any of them. And then you can see all the classifications that have been happening with them, as well as all the comments from different telescope teams and their updates and why they have observed or not observed, as well as all the updates from different GCN circulars that have been released about this exact source. One more thing you can do on Sky Portal is to notify telescope teams to observe. All you need to do is click on the source and scroll down to follow up. Then you can choose from the list of telescopes in collaboration with Grandma which telescope you think should observe. For example, here I am choosing Tarot TCA, and then you can click on the desired observation, you can specify the exposure time, exposure counts, all the other details, and then you specify the start date and the end date of the observation. What this does is that it notifies that specific telescope team to observe this specific source at that specific date and time. And once you scroll further down after submitting, you can also see all the other requests to all the other telescopes that people have done. Moreover, if you go to the dashboard on iCare or the homepage and scroll down, you'll find a map with all the telescopes. There's yellow and blue telescopes. The yellow ones are the ones in daytime currently, and the ones in blue are the ones in nighttime. This allows you to know which telescopes you can notify and which ones are within a good time to be able to observe that source. It is best to notify telescopes teams two hours before their night time to observe. The last thing I want to show is how to add photometry to these source candidates. So taking another source, which is this one from the same GCN circular, it has already been added onto Sky Portal. I'll scroll down to photometry, upload additional photometry, and I'll go to using the form. Now, to add the photometry, I'll be using the information from TNS about the specific source candidate. It shows here the photometry for the G and the R filters. So for the instrument for ZTF, it is put as CFH12K ZTFG, ZTFI, ZTFR filters. You share the data with grandma. For the observation date, uh, it is better to put it in MJD form. So either um, convert the normal date into MGD form, or if it's already provided in MGD form, then that is fine. I know here that I'll be doing this first one. So it's ZT GZTF, this first observation date. So I personally know that this observational date is going to be in this format in MGD. The magnitude, you can just copy the magnitude or flux given. The magnitude error, usually it could be given. If it is not given, just as a placeholder, we will put 0.1. The limiting magnitude, again, could be uh, given, could be not. If it is not given, again, as just a placeholder number, I will put 21.5. Magnitude system is AB, AB units. This is the filter in G, ZDFG. 
If all the other information is also provided, you can also add that and then you submit the photometry. I will now also add the R filter photometry. If you reload the page of the source, that photometry will now load and it is now added. ZTFG. Again, I will upload additional photometry using the form. The instrument is the same. Share the data with grandma. This is the observation date in MJD. My magnitude is found right here from the TNS server. Your number is put because uh, unlike the rest of the information, the form will not be submitted without having a number in there. Magnitude system is AB and my filter is an R filter. I will now submit if I go back to the page and reload the page. I'll find both of the photometry uploaded. And that's it. I talked about how to add the source to Sky Portal, how to add tags and classification to that source, how to uh, add social comments, as well as what type of social comments to expect on Sky Portal. And lastly, how to add photometry from different resources such as TNS. Thank you very much.